If someone told me I'd be sitting on what looked like a glorified kite with a lawnmower engine, hurtling down a muddy road with a Zambian stranger, ready to soar over one of the most massive waterfalls in the world, I'd say, not in a million. But on this drizzly morning, I was forsaking the comfort of my Royal Livingston bed for the once in a lifetime chance to fly. The bumpy start didn't calm my nerves, but once we were in the air, it was smooth and completely freeing. I was able to ignore how pointless my seatbelt was because I was distracted by Victoria Falls, looking even more wild and aggressively beautiful from above. We waved to the other microlight, taking in the same experience as us just before we swooped into the fog, the heavy mist that Victoria spews upward from the force of the falls, and the cold, wet air froze my cheeks. If I felt anything, I felt alive. It was the closest thing to flying, like paragliding, but on speed. As we turned back towards the rivers, we spotted gigantic crocodiles. They looked threatening even from a thousand feet up. The rest of Zambia stretched on for miles, green and flat and calm. And before I knew it, we hit our muddy runway, just as the rains were rolling in. <laughs>